Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial, and in today's video, I'm teaching you guys about tick, okay? Now, not the tick that crawls on you, like, you know, like, those things that give you, like, diseases and stuff. No, the tick that is, like, um, it's, it's, it's like, <laughs> it tells the time, alright? So if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'll explain that in a second here. Um, anyways, before I start the video, I have to say one quick thing, okay? Guys, I just released my own UDC here, um, if you guys don't know, I'm actually a YouTuber, um, called tap water I make videos like for like Roblox entertainment stuff but I do this as well but anyways as you can see I am in a star program and I actually have the ability to like release a UGC item um, if you guys know what that is it's like a little you know item you can put on your character or whatever and I, I just chose a hair now look at this hair okay and in my opinion I think it looks so clean dude like I actually love this thing if you guys like it too then you guys can cough it or whatever <laughs> it's in the description below for only uh, I think 80 robux so if you guys want to buy it you can I think it looks super cool so check it out if you guys want but um yeah okay I'm sorry for the plugging but anyways there you go <laughs> all right anyways so let's go into the video now okay so basically um I'm gonna teach you guys about tick in this video now what is ticking be asking uh, I'll explain that right now okay so basically there's a function in Roblox called tick and let me delete this part real quick sorry I'll make a script in here in the workspace I guess uh, there's a function in Roblox called tick okay now tick is a function that basically um, it tells you the t the amount of time since 1970 January 1st all right so <laughs> if you print out tick like this okay just like that um, you're gonna see here it's gonna tell you the amount of time that's been happening since or the amount of, amount of seconds um, since 1970 January 1st all right or since January 1st 1970 so as you can see it's 1,000 1 million bajillion 158270 I carry the number right it's too long I need commas but anyways you get the point it's an it's a very long number because it's the it, that is the number that okay that number is the amount of seconds that have passed since January 1st 1970 and that's called the epoch um, or some people like to call it it's called the epoch so yeah it's pretty cool um, it's also known as like Unix time I guess um, but yeah it's really useful because you can actually figure stuff out like the amount of time the game's been running and you can measure time with it right so um, for example we'll do one quick thing right here alright so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna show you like some practical use for tick, okay? Like how it's used. So I'll do uh, local game started is equal to tick. All right. Now basically, what just happened is I set a variable equal to tick, and it's returning the number um, that's been the amount of seconds since 1970. Um, so it'll stay the same. It's not gonna change. It's not equal to the function itself. That's always changing. It's just equal to the return. Um, but yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna do. Um, actually, we'll do. We'll, let's make a part real quick to make it so we can like touch it. Um, Okay, I put a part and then I put a script for the part. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do script.parent.touched uh, connect function. And then I, what I'm going to do is actually going to pass through something right here. I'm going to go ahead and go um, if... Actually, no, we can do we can do it just first. All right, we'll do print tick minus... Actually, wait, I might do this wrong way. Yeah, okay, no. Tick minus game started. All right? And now what's going to happen is it's going to print tick minus game started whenever it touches this part, right? But what tick minus game started equals is, I'm sure some of you can guess already, but it's going to be the amount of time that has passed since the game has started. So as you can see here, um, it started, it actually printed right away because it was touching the base plate. Um, but if I go in over here and touch it, as you can see, it's going to print out the amount of time that has been passed since the game started. Um, so basically how long the game is running, which is very cool. You can find out, you know, pretty cool information with that. Um, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much how you get that. So you would just, you know, the amount of time since the game started, you set that equal to two, um, amount of time since game, uh, I'm not doing that. But anyway, what I can do is do something like, um, you know, like if, uh, if, if, uh, okay, one sec. <laughs> if this uh, is greater than five, you know what I'm saying, then prints the game has been running for longer than five seconds you know what I'm saying we can do something like that and then we can put like a fat else statement here and then um oh crap I can't copy I don't know how all right we can put an else statement here and then we could say uh, the game has been running for for less than five seconds um and as you can see here what's going to happen is it'll print out right away because it's touching that thing um see the game's been running for less than five seconds and if I touch it right here I don't know if I'll make it in time. Uh, yes, longer. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me actually anchor it real quick. My bad. All right, and then I'll play here. But yeah, that's pretty much what tick does. It's how you measure time, and uh, it's the local time, time in seconds since you know the Unix epoch. 
So as you can see, for longer than five seconds, because I'm touching it, and there we go. So yeah, that is how you do it, guys. That is how you use Tick. That's how it works, all that good stuff. If you guys do want any more information on this, I might be um, you know, covering that. But yeah, it's pretty simple, honestly. Um, that's pretty short tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like, always make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and also buy the hair, okay? It's called the wavy hair, by the way. I probably should have mentioned the name. Um, but it looks pretty cool, in my opinion, so make sure to buy it. And also, if you guys do have, you know, you do buy Robux to buy it, then, you know, you can use code TAP when you buy it, okay? <laughs> um, when buying Robux. So yeah. All right, very cool. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.